everyone to, uh, for coming on this beautiful October uh, morning here to celebrate the groundbreaking for the Wintra Sports Complex expansion and the exciting new Chicago Sky Practice Facility. My name is Steve Rocky. I am the Vice President Alpa of Alpa Construction. I'd like to thank the Village Board of Trustees and the Chicago Sky team in trusting us to provide design build services over the next 14 months to deliver the built environment. Um, I would also like to recognize the army of design and construction personnel that are behind the scenes that many of you will never run into or appreciate the time and effort that goes into this. This will be close to 100,000 hours of labor of different individuals working with the stakeholders of all the parties involved, again, to create this beautiful new development here. So our design team partners consist of Nelson Architect, Hager, Myers Beatty, and Alara Engineering. Our brothers and sisters of the construction team and the various subcontractors will be brought on board over the next few months. Owner's representation is being provided by the Concord Group for the Village of Bedford Park and the PMA Group for the Chicago Sky. And a special thanks to the Bedford Park Building Department, Police Department, and Fire Department who also are very heavily involved in the creation of this development as well. Thank you everyone again for coming. Again, we're gonna have two, two more speakers, part of the pregame ritual here, and then we'll get onto the main attraction. So next, I would like to introduce Jason Clement, the co-founder of Sports Facility Manage Management, or the operator of the existing Wintrust Sports Complex. Thank you. Thank you. What a beautiful day that's been dialed up here. Um, my, my corporate headquarters are in Tampa, Florida, so um, it's a better day here than it is down there. We're certainly thinking about praying uh, for everybody down there. Uh, we're, we're thrilled to be here today, and we don't get to this day generate these results. If you're a member of the board, could you raise your hand or just stand up? I want to thank you. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge Mayor Brady. His uh, political courage and leadership through the opening days have allowed us to get here today and generate these results that have provided and spurred the economic engine to justify phase two that we're celebrating. So Mayor Brady, thank you very much. If you're a member of the village staff or leadership or a member of the Wind Trust operations team, could you just raise your hand as well? This is an award-winning phase one operation. So it has set up the stage here for phase two. And the best is yet to come, no question about it. Uh, to the Chicago Sky, thank you for your partnership here. We're really excited about what's going to happen. The indoor turf component in phase two is going to serve the local community here, leagues, camps, clinics, with some great partnerships that are on tap to come in as well, more to come on that. Um, but today, we're here to celebrate this team and what's been accomplished. So thank you again. We appreciate everybody's support, and the best is yet to come. And next, please welcome Michael Harris Jr. of Wintrust Bank, and he is also the Beverly Bank and Trust Bank president as well. Thank you. Thanks for having me, everybody. It's an honor to be here today to represent Wintrust and Beverly Bank and Trust. This groundbreaking ceremony marks an exciting moment on the village of Bedford Park and the future of the 
Wintrust Sports Complex. At Wintrust, we are deeply committed to investing in the communities that we serve. Our partnership with the Village of Bedford Park, which began in 2021 with the naming rights to this incredible facility, is a perfect example of how we strive to create opportunities for economic growth and community engagement. The Wintrow Sports Complex isn't just a place for sports, it's a vibrant place where families can gather, local businesses can thrive, and the community comes together. Today's groundbreaking for the new Chicago Sky Training Facility is a natural extension of the vision we share with the Village of Bedford Park. We are proud to be a part of this journey, contributing to the area's growth and providing a hub that fuels local pride and economic development. We are excited that you are here to tour the Wintrust Sports Complex and celebrate the groundbreaking for the new state-of-the-art Chicago Sky Training Facility. In our relationship with the Chicago Sky, who plays at the Wintrust Arena, underscores our commitment to supporting Chicago's health and wellness for all. Thank you to the Village of Bedford Park and the Chicago Sky for their continued partnership. We look forward to an exciting future that strengthens our community, ties and fosters lasting opportunities for growth. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. And now on to the main attraction here. So it's with great enthusiasm, I'd like us all to welcome Sean, who is the Chicago Sky's game time announcer. Sean? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited to be here. I hope we all are ready for this historic afternoon. Are we ready? All right, all right. We're gonna give you a sample of the energy that we bring to Wintrust Arena every night. So we're gonna give you a little sports atmosphere today. Squeeze, let's do this. I have some very important people to announce and to recognize. And as they come, I want you to give them a round of applause, please, and thank you. First, coming to the podium from the village of Bedford Park, he is the chief business officer. Please make some noise for Joe Renos. Welcome, Joe. And from the village of Bedford Park, he is the president. Please make some noise for David Brady. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Louis Vivarito. He is the superintendent for Revis High School. Please put your hands together for Dan Jordan. All right, he is the superintendent for Argo High School. Please make some noise for Dr. William Tulis. From the Basketball Museum of Illinois, he is the chairman. Please make some noise for Bruce Vershaw. <laughs> Welcome to the party, Bruce. We are excited to have you in the building. You look amazing. And the co-owner, operating chairman from the Chicago Sky. Please make some noise for Nadia Rollins. WNBA veteran from the Chicago Sky, the anchor, the person in the middle. Make some noise for Elizabeth Williams. That's right. The Chicago Sky is officially in the building. We are excited for your partnership. Thank you so much. Let's get this party started. all the friends and family in the room today. Um, today's a great occasion for, um, as we gather, for the groundbreaking ceremony of the Wintrow Sports Complex Phase Two Edition. Uh, this project is a shining example of what can be achieved through collaboration and vision, and we're incredibly grateful for the unwavering support of the Village of Bedford Park, our partners with the Sky, and every individual, quick hands, 
um, <laughs> an organization contributing to this historic uh, endeavor. Um, I'd like to recognize our naming rights partner in Wintrust Financial for their ongoing support um, of this project. For context, we had these discussions uh, starting in 2019, um, and we greenlit this project uh, March 20th of 2020, four days after uh, this little thing called uh, 15 Days to Slow the Spread. And four days into that, we had a board meeting and we connected to Zoom for the first time. And I just want to thank the board for believing in this vision because with all the uncertainty that you know we pushed through uh, by creating jobs here, by not canceling contracts and the pushing through, uh, really got us to the point where we're at today. So thank you guys for believing in this vision. just highlight a few distinguished guests we have here today. Um, all the Bedford Park staff, former trustees, um, please be recognized, stand real quick. Just thank you for coming. Uh, I want to recognize Senator Lou Viverito, Stickney Township Supervisor. Uh, Senator Mike Profilio, uh, our 22nd District State Rep, Angie. Uh, thank you. Representative Nichols, thank you for coming out. <laughs> Representative Rasheed, thank you for your friendship. <laughs> Congressman Cashin can't join us today, but sent representatives Tony and Lauren from his staff, so appreciate you guys making the effort with our time. <laughs> um, from the sky, you know, I could go through the 100 and plus RSVP list here. I'm going to forget some people. I don't want to continue to go through. We're going to meet everybody today and become friends after this. But um, really where it starts with the sky of Harvey and Michael Alter, Nadia, and, and Adam Fox. Um, appreciate you guys. <laughs> you know, the first meeting we sat on opposite sides of the table. And the second meeting, everybody just kind of mixed with one another and found their person to uh, network with and to build trust with, so I appreciate you guys. Um, from Alpha Construction, uh, owner Tom, uh, and then I want to thank uh, Stephen Elvira. Um, I'm standing up here representing a lot of people that have put a lot of work into this project. Um, without them two putting this performance together, getting us organized here today, it doesn't look anything like this. So thank you to Stephen Elvira for running the show. Especially for the village, I'm going to uh, recognize some other people as we go through here. But um, Marilyn and Tom, you know your leadership. I think um, great people to work for and, and work with. Um, but thank you for making my life easier every single day. So thank you. So we're here today because this, in our opinion, marks one of the largest investments of a public-private partnership in WNBA history. Um, I mean. That's phenomenal. I mean, you start talking, looking back of how they write history books and textbooks. It's who's going to make that first investment here. And from a village and public standpoint perspective, we couldn't have found better partners in the sky to make this dream a reality. Uh, thank you. Um, <laughs> let's just go off the teleprompter here for a second. So we're standing here at 65th and Central, the phase two in the sky. Uh, developing their practice facility is just the start of what we're looking to accomplish here. Um, last year, uh, 2023, 20, the village was awarded the Municipal Leader of the Year Award for our progress on Phase 1, uh, which also led us to the development of the Wyndham Garden Hotel, which you can see is under construction there. Um, we're under contract and we're about to break ground on a Wendy's corporate store right next door to adjacent to the property. Moretti's Pizza open next door, uh, and then right next to them we're going to have a gas and wash that's there. The vision's not stopping here today, we're just getting started. Our goal is to create an entertainment district that starts at 65th um, and Central and connect us back to the hotels on Cicero Avenue. We've got a lot of progress to make from here and what this complex represents. Um, so our vision here is really we wanna be the entertainment um, hub for, for sports and then uh, sports training is, you know, we make investments in our kids and their future. Um, We anticipate these developments will be ready uh, by late 2025. 
Um, and together we're creating a, a legacy for our future, uh, for our kids, uh, for them to cherish. Um, as I close today, um, I call it the next person. You know, my wife told me I was not that funny, so don't tell any jokes today. Um, <laughs> the, the, it really comes near and dear uh, talking through what we were doing here. Um, the one thing I just want to leave is the talking point of what, why we're here. The mission and growth of the economic development of the WNBA in the Chicago sky clearly align with the goals of the Village Bedford Park and the Wintrust Sports Complex. We're proud to be an integral part of this transformational era in women's athletics, and I encourage, as a father of a nine and a half year old daughter who made all of the basketball loving daughter, made all these conversations a lot easier to have when you go home and they ask you, is the deal done yet? <laughs> um, I'm here as that father saying, if you're sitting on the sidelines now, make an investment in these girls' future. Thank you. supposed to call it next just there's some vulnerability for you so uh, back with you in one second <laughs> there you go uh, I'd like to introduce Mayor Brady to the stage thank you. Uh, our little core group that fight every day and over ideas of uh, 
uh, Marilyn, Tom, Joe, and Larry Yershevsky, our attorney, great job on everything. And I love those fights, they're great. So thank you. Dan Reardon, superintendent from Revis, real quick. Um, Revis is a community high school, partnered with us um, on this venture to help us secure this property here. Um, with the 55,000 square feet of turf, uh, they recently opened their own turf box, but uh, it's one of the unique situations to where uh, they're one of the only school districts that uh, has partnered with the municipality in our capacity to share um, the tax generated from here uh, for a revenue sharing agreement. So proud to support you guys, if Dan wants to say it. Dance pass. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Dr. Tulios uh, from Argo High School, superintendent, uh, is uh, giving me the way off, wave off as well. So we're, uh, they do like us, I think. <laughs> uh, the next phase, you know, we're talking about the Sky Building, their practice facility here. Um, Expanding into the phase two here, the village will have 55 square feet of turf uh, for mixed use development for baseball, football, um, flag football, which is exploding, uh, and then mixed uh, other turf sports. Um, one of the key drivers that we thought um, when the sky came through our facility was seeing the branding and the co-partnership that we have with the Illinois Basketball Hall of Fame Coaches Association and their desire to build uh, the first of its kind Illinois Basketball Museum. Uh, with this phase two addition and the sky coming on board, uh, that dream's becoming a reality. Um, and, and I gotta tell you, it's kinda nice to have 1,100 basketball coaches on your side to get you pumped up for coming up here. So, uh, Bruce, can you come and say a few words? Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bruce Bershaw, and I'm, it's an honor to be here today representing the Illinois Basketball Coaches Association. When Chuck Rolinski, Ron Heron, Cheryl Hanks, Ron Ferguson, and Ron Nikovich formed the Illinois Basketball Coaches Association, it was their vision that we would have a basketball museum. Today, the IBCA and the Basketball Museum of Illinois would like to express our deepest gratitude to Mayor Brady, Joe Ranowski, and the Bedford Park Village Board in helping us make that vision become a reality. We also want you to know that the players, coaches, officials, teams, media, friends of basketball, and the best basketball fans in the world, past and present, say thank you. If you listen quietly, you can hear the whispers of our past saying, build it and they will come. That moment has now arrived. From our side, I'd personally like to say thank you to Bob Ward, Paul Prima, and Jim Tracy for helping make this day a reality. Your relentlessness and positive working relationship with Bedford Park can't be overstated. As we move forward, we'll need to add more teammates to our project. We'll need help, a fundraising board, consultants, an executive director, and the mod team to help us build a world-class interactive museum. This year is going to, this coming year is going to fly by, but when it concludes, we hope to have a museum that is event-driven, tells our thousands of stories, and have a positive impact on the lives of our children. There's an excitement here today, but there's also a buzz throughout the state. People all over Illinois have waited a long time for a basketball museum, and they are grateful to Bedford Park for making this happen. This truly is a special time. Thank you. I, I can't give Nadia her uh, due diligence here for uh, trying to hype up uh, how big of an impact her and Adam have made kind of in this process of, with the altars to get us here today. Um, you know, it's kind of your show now, so not even wrong, so thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I must say uh, it's pretty amazing to see all the Chicago 
Chicago Sky gear, even in the press, is <laughs> wearing the t-shirts and hats, and just shows how much support we have from everyone who's here. Um, this is an exciting day, an exciting day for Bedford Park, an exciting day for the WNBA, and an exciting day for the Chicago Sky organization. Today, we're not just breaking ground on a building. We're breaking new ground for women's sports, for our communities, and for a future generation of athletes. This new practice facility right here in Bedford Park will be more than just a place to train. It'll be a hub of excellence, a beacon of dedication, and a symbol of what happens when hard work meets opportunity. It's about creating spaces where our athletes can sharpen their skills, build their strength, and continue to show the world why Chicago Sky is a team to be reckoned with. For years, the Chicago Sky has demonstrated this resilience, teamwork, and unwavering commitment and grit on the court. Now, with this state-of-the-art facility that's coming in phase two, all of this open ground back here, they'll have even more tools to push the boundaries of what's possible, and as we've seen our players do time and time again. We have two of our players here that we're very excited about. Today's groundbreaking isn't just about the players, though. We love you, but it's not just about you. This facility represents an investment in our community. It will inspire young girls and boys to dream bigger, to push harder, and to believe that they too can rise to new heights. Bedford Park and the greater Chicago area will now have a space to witness and be part of the journey that athleticism, empowerment, and equity in sports brings. So with that, I wanna recognize a few people who really made this dream come true. And just to go off script for a moment, I came to be part of this organization almost two years ago as a co-owner. And we've been talking about a practice facility for a while, even before anybody in this tent would know, for years. And it is due to the dedication, the investment, and the commitment of a few key people that really made this come to pass. One of those people is Michael Walter. We also have John Rogers, who's been an incredibly helpful partner in this. Harvey Alter, Margaret Stender, and investors in our latest uh, investment group of Ann Ward, Tina Chen, who've shown up not just in person, but also spiritually, so thank you. Um, also, uh, some other investors who couldn't be here today, but who have shown their dedication and time and talents with Laura Ricketts, Dwayne Graves, and others. And then we move to Bedford Park. So Jeff and I, our GM, we were just uh, talking this morning as we walked in, impressed by the balloons and the flag and everyone that's walking in and the great music that we have, that working with Bedford Park and the partners that we have here really show that there's still good people in the world. And especially in times of crisis that we're in right now, as the world is going through this moment, in, in business and in negotiations, you're set up to be in a naturally antagonistic sort of posture. That has not been the case at all. If anything, it's been the exact opposite, as you mentioned. We're very grateful to have the partners that we do in Bedford Park. Um, and specifically, Mayor Brady, the village trustees, Steve Rock Rocky, you guys have been amazing, as well as all the other partners from the fire department to the police department to um, all of the advisors that have been a part of these meetings over the last few months, so thank you. We also wanna thank our sponsors, again, you know, people say they support women's sports and they say, oh, that's great, and they tweet about it or put it on their social media, but those that buy tickets, that show up as sponsors, dedicate their dollars, create revenue for the team, allows us to do things like this. So we're very proud to have the sponsors that we do, Magellan being one of them, Garrett's Popcorn and uh, Pure Water, etc., have been a part of this journey for a while. And of course, last but not least, our fans our sky riders, our season ticket holders, you are the heartbeat of our team. And your dedication fuels moments like this, particularly those of you who have been here from the beginning. We love you, we hold space for you, and we're grateful for you. And as we turn over the soil that we'll be digging uh, in a few moments here, we're planting seeds of progress and opportunity. People often say that sky's the limit, and I say no. Chicago sky, we're limitless. 
and we're ready to soar. So thank you to Bedford Park and thank you for all of you for being here. Let's go Scott. Elizabeth Williams here in a second. Um, I, I just gotta say, and Michaela's sitting over here as well. We got a UCLA Bruin and a Duke Blue Devil. Um, I'm an Illini, which, you know, the in-state tuition helps uh, out here, but uh, just wanna say, I, I, my nine and a half year old daughter studying the team rosters and, and looking through your journeys. I mean, we're finding these little pockets of how you create a little nine year old girl and to be a fan. Uh, thanks for paving the way for, for people like my daughter to be able to see here and look up to you guys. Um, with, with that being said, I just, she's, she's in school right now. We wanted her here to say thank you, her mom wouldn't let her, but uh, <laughs> I just had to get that in there that you got nine and a half year old girls looking up to you every single day and, and we're studying your roster. So good luck to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this place. So Elizabeth Williams, everybody. <laughs> Feel free. 